I said, boy, I looked at my own record company and called it Old Boy. And she said, why? And I said, well, when things are going real good, I could just go, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a year we've had. And when things ain't so good, you could go, oh boy, you know. Kissing Santa Claus Underneath the mistletoe last night John Prine was unafraid to bet on himself. He did that, deciding that he and a small crew of like-minded people could make a record label work and work well for him and his art. Well, what a, uh, what a success story that is. Did art their own way. Like, nobody really had done that. That's almost common now to have a artistic reign over whatever he did. They changed the music game together, Al and John. He didn't necessarily see Old Boy as being a record company in the real sense of the word, that it was going to make millions of dollars and it was going to make, you know, all these executives rich. And No, it was a vehicle for good music. And to that end, as long as there are people who want to listen to good music, who will value the singer-songwriter, then we will keep on going. This was a gang of misfits who didn't have the corporate bosses looming over them watching every move. The team was able to be free of any traditional music business ways and continue in the oh boy way. We started noticing in oh boy that a younger generation, especially on social media, was really excited about John. I don't know if he ever fully understood what streaming was. He would always just call it downloads on your phone. But he went from sort of a grudging acceptance of it to like an excitement that people all over the world could discover his music. So Oh Boy Records is an independent label, family owned, and I know that John was hugely proud of that. I mean, that really means something. But more than just in words, it means that we are part of a community, which is very important to us as a family, and then for our business. Well, something from Oh Boy. Soft spot for me now Cause when she says my name out loud Well I can hear it in the timber Of a hitchhike boy She wants to know where I have been And ever since I've fallen out Baby I have been around Yes I've been out my mind Somebody else's arms Big it's old and I made you Wow, look, the new John Prine record, The Tree of Forgiveness. Just blame it on that whole crazy bone. Here comes that crazy bone. Yeah. It's the biggest record of John's career uh, in terms of charting. It really kind of uh, affirmed some of the ways we've been doing business and gave us a model for, you know, well, this, this could work for other artists. We can do the same thing again. So we just kept ending up in these wonderful spots. It was just, let's just do something fun, one step at a time. We went to the Grammys all together for the Tree of Forgiveness, and John lost. He didn't care, and he still wanted to go to this restaurant, because apparently they had these great oysters and whatever. And So he orders like four dozen oysters brought to the table, and we all have champagne and whatnot. And he's like, if this is the loser's lunch, what do you think the winners are eating? You know, it was just, there was never a sense of, oh, you did a bad job. It was always fun. And I think that's what's made me just feel so committed to, oh boy, is I just, I believe in the magic. I believe what John believed in. It was always about the song. It was always about the singer. It was always about the people that told the other people about that singer and that song. And those guys did it better than anybody. 